is my master uh, from the community of the Monk River, uh, currently serving as the president of the Monk River Water Association. Um, our association is roughly about two years old, so, um, and our mission is to restore uh, and conserve the Monk River Watershed so that we can continue to function as a, as a, as a means of supplying sediments, and nutrients and clean water to the coastline and to the boat of the water. Um, our group basically applied for a grant from the EF Small Grants Program to develop what we call a roadmap to restore the functionality of the Mount River watershed so it can become that much fair of sediments, nutrients and things on the coastline and the port of the ocean. Um, the association is made up of several members. Um, we have 10 communities living on the watershed that are part of the association. Um, four NGOs, mainly the Toledo Institute for Development and Environment, the Southern Environmental Association, the Yastre Conservation Trust, and the Belize Foundation for Research and Environmental Education. Um, apart from, and, and we also include um, the Banana Growers Association, because that's one of the biggest industries of the watershed. And in our view, one of the industries that is having one of the biggest impact as it relates to what's going on in the watershed. Um, so our project was to develop a roadmap to address the issues impacting the watershed, uh, to build the capacity of the um, association, given the fact that we are very diverse people coming from different cultures, different backgrounds, um, and then to work on a stable uh, coastline stabilization um, for projects specifically geared to as, um, addressing the erosion problem in Mount River. Um, during the development, uh, during the implementation of this project, we had to look at what's the best way to address that erosion problem in Mount River. In Mount River. And we had lots of ideas, lots of information coming from different um, groups, different people. Um, and so we had to decide which, in our view, would be the best option, um, both looking at the environmental impacts and the beauty, beautification of that area. Um, in, in the past, people were saying, do rocks, you know, putting in rock wall, putting in sea wall. Um, and based on our research and so on, we realized that that would not be the best um, option for us. And so we had um, one coastal engineer giving us the information in terms of the security. And, um, and as a group, when we met and we looked at the pros and cons, we decided to go with the geotubes. And so we have installed roughly about 500 feet of geotubes. Um, and since the installation, those areas where we have put the geotubes, we have seen at least 30 feet of beach has come back. Um, so that has helped us protect the homes that were checking uh, from going into the sea. And GF Park was very instrumental in terms of giving us plan to start one to get the association up and running and for us to start addressing some of the issues that are involved in the water.